There are a couple of different reasons to have a will. You know, that people without a will, first of all, the state of Florida is going to write your will for you, basically. You know, we have a statute that says where property goes if somebody dies without a will. So that's very important. You want to have your property go to whoever you want it to go to and not have that forced regime of, of the of statute that we have as far as where property goes. But in addition, I mean, there is tax planning often that needs to be done. And if you don't have a will or a trust or both of those, you, know, you can end up paying more in estate taxes for uh, larger estates. You know, smaller estates really don't have that concern, but still, you know, it's one of those sorts of things. That, and I've seen a lot of self-prepared wills, you know, that people try to do on their own. And invariably, that ends up costing the family more money to straighten out than if they had just come to a lawyer in the first place. Basically, the reason to have a trust for most people is to avoid that probate process, to create this vehicle during your lifetime, put assets into it, so that at your passing, they don't have to go through that probate process. Probate's not as onerous as people think, but there is a certain level of cost associated with that because it's a court-supervised process. And by having a revocable trust or structuring assets in some other fashion so that they avoid probate, we can keep the costs down, make things a little bit easier for the family. That seems to be one of my fortes, to be able to take them through a very difficult time. You know, the loss of a loved one is not something that a lot of people deal with very well. And there's a lot of things that are overwhelming, you know, dealing with the states. And so I enjoy working with people to try to get them through that process and out the other side where they can get on with their lives.